we're going to talk about a very common topic of algebra that is called a partial fractions. So before we start to figure out different practice problems, we must familiar with two terminologies that are proper fractions and improper fractions. So if we have a fraction in terms of p of x and q of x, like two polynomials, one in the numerator and the second in the denominator. <clears throat> so if the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is less than the degree of the polynomial in the denominator that is called a proper fraction. And if the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is equal to or greater than the degree of the polynomial in the denominator that is called a improper fraction. Like in this case, we have a degree of the polynomial in the numerator that is two. Also, the degree of the polynomial in the denominator that is also two. And here, the degree is 4, and in the bottom, the degree is 3. Means uh, the degree in the top is greater than the degree in the bottom. And in this case, the degree of the polynomial in the numerator is equal to the degree of the polynomial in the denominator. So these two examples are improper fraction. So, so first of all, we need to keep in mind the different types of fractions and the cases of partial fractions. So that today we're going to talk about the first case of the partial fraction. First case. What is first case? So first case is if you have a polynomial in the denominator, you can say that is q of x, has non-repeated linear factors. This is the first case. If you have non-repeated linear factors in the denominator, what do you have to do? So simply, uh, just take a look at the example like 1 over x squared negative 1. We can write this fraction as 1 over x negative 1 into x plus 1. These two factors are non-repeated and linear, like the degree of the variable is one for both factors. So what we have to do in this case, just you have to write the first constant for first vector plus second constant for second vector. Simple. This is the first step that you have to do. Like if you have three X over x negative 1 into 4x plus 1. This is all the first case. Means you have non-repeated linear factors. So it means you have to take the first constant for first vector plus second constant over the second vector. Basically, we are going to split a fraction into its parts. That is called a partial fractions. Okay, we will discuss the next steps, but, but you have to keep in mind the first case of the partial fraction that is very important. Let's say we have three different linear factors, like 3x squared over x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2. Here we have also the first case, like we have three non-repeated linear factors. So what we have to do, we have to split this fraction into a over first factor plus b over second factor plus c over third factor. Okay, this is simple, this, the first step that you have to keep in mind. Now, now we need to figure out the values of a, b, c in different practice problems. We have to we we have to use different operations, different simplification steps to figure out the values of the constants. So what we have to do? Let's take a simple question. One over x squared negative one. 
So first step, you have to factorize the denominator. You can write it 1 over x negative 1 into x positive 1. Okay, so we have the first case, non-repeated linear factors. So what do we have to do? 1 over x negative 1 into x positive 1. You have to split this fraction into it, its parts. First constant over first vector plus second constant over second vector. This was the first step that we have discussed earlier. Okay, now what we have to do. Now you have to use different steps and different operations, simplifications to figure out the values of A and B. Okay, so the second step is for every question, for, for the first case, you have to multiply the Q of X, the value of Q. What is the Q of X that is X negative one, X plus one. You have to multiply this uh, Q of X with whole equation, simple. You have to multiply x negative 1 into x positive 1 on the left hand side, x minus 1 into x plus 1. Also on the right hand side, x negative 1 into x positive 1 times a over x negative 1 plus b over x plus 1 times x negative 1 times x positive 1. So after simplification, so we cancel out x negative 1, x negative 1, x plus 1, x plus 1. After simplification, you would get 1 equals a times x plus 1 plus b times x negative 1. Okay, simple. We have a, an equation. 1 equals a into x plus 1 plus b into x negative 1. What we have to do? Now, the third step is you have to apply the zero method to figure out the value of a and b. What is zero method? You have to take the first vector. What was the first vector? X negative one. X negative one and you have to take X negative one and put equals zero and figure out the value of X that would be one and substitute this value in this equation. So it would be one equals A times one plus one plus b times 1 minus 1. So this will be cancelled out and goes to finish. And the second we have 1 plus 1, 2 times a. 2a equals 1. And you have to divide 2 on both sides. So a would be 1 half. Here we got the value of a. Now we have to apply the same step to figure out the value of b. So under b we have x plus 1 you have to put x plus 1 equals 0 and this implies x equals negative 1 substitute this negative 1 in the same equation 1 equals a times negative 1 plus 1 plus b times negative 1 negative 1 so we cancel out and you have negative 2b equals 1 and b would be negative 1 half here we got simple A and B. Now, simply you got the solution. You got the uh, partial fractions, fract parts of the fraction that was A over X negative 1 plus B over X plus 1. Just you have to uh, plug in these two values in these fractions. So here we got A is 1 half. So you have to write 1 half times X negative 1 plus negative 1 half x plus 1. Simple. So this is the solution of that formula. Hope it makes sense.